The basic procedure for preserving uh, adult dragonfly and damselfly specimens after you've caught the specimen is to acetone it, soak it in acetone for at least eight hours, allow it to dry, and then place it into a polypropylene envelope along with a 3 by 5 card on which is uh, printed all the relevant information about the specimen. What you'll need in order to do this uh, in, in the way that I do it are some various materials that I'll describe now. You'll need to purchase some acetone, which you can get at any large hardware store or department store, and put a few inches of it into a wide mouth container like a Rubbermaid or um, uh, pickle jars also work well for that purpose. Not all plastics will work. Acetone will uh, eat through some plastics, but uh, Tupperware containers, Rubbermaid containers, and pickle jars all work quite well. You'll also need a variety of envelopes. I use glassine envelopes in the field that I purchase from BioQuip products in California. These come in different sizes. Uh, so I buy a variety of sizes and use smaller ones for small specimens, larger ones for larger specimens. I also uh, trim the corners of the envelopes in order to allow the acetone in and the air to come out more easily. For the final placement product, I use polyethylene baggies that I purchased from uh, Chiswick, which is a division of Staples and these come in a variety of different sizes and thicknesses. So I just buy a variety of different bags and use smaller ones for small specimens, larger ones for larger specimens. You'll also need some polypropylene envelopes. Uh, these can be purchased through BioQuip products or uh, online uh, from a site uh, sponsored by the Dragonfly Society of the Americas, which is where I get mine. They're a little bit smaller and I like them better. Some people use uh, cellophane envelopes, however, those will shrink over time. Polypropylene envelopes don't shrink, however, they do have a slight electrical charge. That means that if you put a specimen and a card into just a polypropylene envelope, the specimen will stick and may break when you try to remove it from the envelope at a later date. That's why I double bag my specimens placing them into polyethylene baggies first because there's a very small electrical charge with these baggies. I also use regular stainless paper clips for the field stage of the operation and for the acetoning and then for final preservation I use vinyl covered paper clips. Some other tools you might find useful uh, will be a large pair of forceps so that you can take specimens in and out of the acetone without getting it on your fingers. And uh, some soft forceps, which are very valuable for uh, picking up specimens gently without destroying them. You'll also need some small uh, label paper to label your specimens in the field.